by spring. So here's a new uh, Casio G-Shock uh, GB9000, right? Yep. And uh, this is new. New. It has Bluetooth low energy. So Bluetooth 4.0, which is the new Bluetooth. Yes, and BLE is part of Bluetooth uh, 4.0. All right. So here you can, for example, go and uh, set date and enter it. And we can uh, say that we just traveled from Europe and to, the, uh, to another place. Sarajevo. So it's going to automatically transmit to my watch. It takes about 15, 20 seconds, but you'll see that timestamp update. So I travel different time zone, different date line. It'll automatically update once I come to that mode. Right. So here is uh, 136 there, and it's going to sync it up to the same here. 136 there. 136. So you're the phone guy. No, you're the so, watch guy. I just got yeah. So let's try calling it. Okay, we're going to make a phone call here. So I'm going to be dialing. So if the network works here, it's going to dial this phone. Yep. And that's going to display something on here. It's going to display the caller on there. So here, John is calling. And I'll tap this, and I can silence my phone. The phone is no longer ringing. So if your phone was in your pocket or was in your briefcase for a business meeting, you could silence that. Similar thing when you receive an email. Basically what will happen is you'll get an email alert that someone's emailing you. At the same area here? Same area there. How long does the battery last for that kind of functionality? This is Bluetooth low energy, so battery is approximately two years on 12 hours of linkage between the phone and the watch. Two years of what? 12, 12 hours, hours per, day? per day of linkage for the watch. So it's pretty incredible. That's all part of Bluetooth low energy. Another feature that it has is if I was to lose my phone and was in proximity, I can actually ping my phone by pressing this button here. It makes my phone ring. So oh, I look for my phone and hear the sound. So no matter whether my phone was on vibrate or not, it's always going to make that sound. So is those four features not could you add extra features in the future? Or? In the future, yeah. One of the features that this has that I can't really show here, but if I go out of range, the watch is going to vibrate. So they had set this up here, so potentially one of the things you do in the future is when you go out of range, you get logged out of your laptop. When you come in closer, you get logged back in your laptop. So that's like a security purpose. Here you can see like uh, from uh, playing some music on your, on your phone, you would see the song title there. So in the future, they could work something where you might be able to control your uh, songs here, your song playlists here and whatnot. So, but that's in the future more. Could there be some apps in the future on Android that do something else? Uh, yeah, basically something could be or something. something you could uh, work with app developers to just develop things in different areas. Healthcare device could be one particular one. So maybe you have like we have a healthcare device over there, takes your readings, transfers it to the phone, back to your watch, and you could store data and kind of keep an eye on that stuff. And that's all based on the one app that you have that's a Casio app inside of Android. It's right? not a Casio app yet. We want to work with developers to develop those apps. So all you need is install one app on your phone for the sync to happen. Uh, you don't need any apps on your phone. You need the software profile built into the phone. Basically, yeah.